Internet, what's going on? I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com, and in this video tutorial today, I'm going to teach you all how to add a simple Google Map, an interactive Google Map, to your website uh, in Adobe Muse. So uh, we're in the site structure area right now. So the first thing you want to do is is go to the specific page that you're looking to add the map on, and we're going to double click this. All right, and we're going to come down to this area right here. Now, before I do anything uh, with the Google Map, when you go get that Google Map, it's going to ask you what the size of the map you want to actually, you know, uh, take out and embed into your website. So, on my Mac, which I do a lot, um, learn how to do screenshots or or to select specific areas. So, I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, and then the number four and these little crosshairs come up if you see those crosshairs and as I draw a box it's basically gonna tell me how big the box is alright and when I let go just listen it's gonna do a camera uh, shutter sound alright so we're gonna do that again and I'm gonna come up from the bottom to the top and the number it shows is 480 by let's just say 480 by 600 okay alright I just took another picture for no reason but that's how you do a screenshot. I actually have a, a tutorial on that also. But we're going to go to Google now. And I have a fictitious, fictitious address up here that I do not live. I would love to live at. But it is the Magic Kingdom Park in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. I was actually just there as uh, half of my honeymoon I spent in, in Magic Kingdom or Disney area. It was amazing. So uh, I would like to live there. But... Um, Right now, we're just going to embed this map on the website, and the re the way we do that is we're going to come up here to the little link area, and we're going to hit that link, and it's going to say, "All right, you'd like to paste this in here," um, but the problem is, is we want to customize it to that size that we wanted. So if I customize and preview embedded map, I can actually change the size of it, which is pretty cool, and I can customize how it's going to originally look on the website so if I want it to be more zoomed in when people see it on the website or I could have it more zoomed out at first so I'm gonna have it more zoomed out just like this uh, just so you see some of the main highways actually there we go like that and uh, the custom size I believe what was that 480 by 600 so that was 480 width by 600 in height and it's actually gonna show me right here what it's gonna look like it's it resized it right here all you're going to do is copy and paste this HTML into your website. All right, I just copied it by uh, selecting all by Command A. So you click in here and you hit Command A and then you hit Command C to copy. And we're going to come back to Muse. And all we're going to do is paste it and it's just going to pop onto the website. You don't got to create a box to actually add the HTML in. It's pretty cool. So just hit Command V or on a PC, I believe it's Control. All right, and there you go. There is your map, and we are going to move it right where we want to move it. The cool thing about your map is you can now draw like, you know, say you wanted to draw like a box behind your map, you know, just to like, you know, affect it out a little bit. And say we fill this with, uh, you know, this type of a blue right here, and I'm going to send that baby backwards. I can't, I just locked it, that's why. Uh, we're gonna send that backwards and it goes right behind the map and yeah it just kinda gives it a little bit of dimension um, and we're gonna go to file and we're gonna preview the page in a browser to see exactly what this map is gonna look like and, and do for us so we're gonna scroll down and voila look at that right on the website people do not even have to leave look they can double click and zoom in it's phenomenal so if they want to view a larger map they can do that by clicking down here they can see the satellite the terrain uh, the earth view it's really well that's you have to have the Google Earth plugin which why don't I have that that is a really silly thing that I don't have that so I need to get that but this is pretty cool it's interactive and it gets people what they need without leaving your website so if they need directions obviously they're gonna have to hit view larger map which I just did and boom now they can get directions 
Uh, that's it on a Google Maps and Muse. Really simple, really quick. And the coolest thing about it is you're just pasting it. You're not creating text boxes or HTML boxes to actually to put it in. Uh, Muse recognizes that you have copied HTML and it figures out. It's very intuitive. It knows what to do with everything. So I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. Uh, if you like this video, please share it out with other people who may uh, think it might be useful to them or might need to know this stuff. And that's it. Have a great night. Peace.